Hi Matt, uh, good to see you again. Thanks for, for showing me the cover crops. Can you tell me a little bit about your farm and, and what you're hoping to do? This is our rotation and things. Yep, sure. So we're a thousand acres. We're arable only. Uh, we grow potatoes and cereals and also rape. Um, I'm using cover crops uh, specifically ahead of potatoes, so I want to use those uh, sort of overwintering potatoes. My main focus in terms of the cover crops is going to be soil conditioning. I'm looking, both looking to break up the plough pan and to um, make some nice friable soil, so working in the sort of like the top sort of six inches of soil. Um, that's the main thing, but there's obviously a lot of other things that cover crops can do, so anything where we can sequester some nitrogen, some phosphate, um, good weed control and good biomass as well. Uh, that'll be that's of interest to me. So. Excellent. So this is the second year we've grown it. I mean, last year was a really challenging year for, for everything. Just so wet in autumn there. But I mean, we did get a decent cover crop there. Did you notice a difference when it came to planting? Um, we noticed a little bit when we were sort of working it up, and I think you could see a slight difference in the way it grew. I'm hoping that this year will show more. I mean, obviously the challenges of last year are. Uh, well known and um, the cover crop wasn't as big as we, we would maybe hope it so I'm hoping that this year it'll be much more obvious where the cover crop or where the control strips are. So. Yeah absolutely I mean that this year's cover crop is going to be doing 40-50 tonnes of biomass a, he yeah. a hectare whereas last year maybe only 10 or 15 so um, I mean we've just come from the field it was quite interesting on the control the difference between the control and where the cover crop was in terms of the soil. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. I mean, just simply putting the spade into the ground was uh, was a hell of a lot easier when you were in the uh, when you're in the actual crop. Um, the stuff that happened, I mean, it's not bad soils down there. They're not too heavy, but you could really see the holes, especially when you pull the radish out. It looks like somebody stuck a fork in. And in terms of drainage and things like that, which is sort of secondary effects of cover crops. Yeah, I'm very pleased with that. So. Yeah, I mean, one of the things we've noticed on other farms is even even when you've had two three inches of rain. The water's not standing, which means that you can get on yeah. when you probably wouldn't be able to get on elsewhere. Huh? Yeah, it, it's probably going to be slightly harder to measure, but I'm hoping that, yeah, I will be able to go slightly faster when I'm planting in terms of the soil will be easier to work. So less mechanisation, less fuel, quicker on with it and stuff like that. And I think that's a win both in terms of what I'm putting into it and the amount of energy and time expended on working the soils, which we did. One of the things we're doing is obviously we're analysing the cover crop that we've taken off. And hopefully from that, we'll find out how much MP and K that are sequestered and how much carbon it is. I mean, I guess, you know, uh, going forwards, that's going to become important, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think um, my feeling is, is that where the government's going is that that's going to be definitely something that we're more than likely going to be paid for. And certainly as being responsible farmers, I think that's something that we're going to have to worry about more. Uh, less fertiliser, if I can use less bag synthetic fertiliser, that is a definite advantage. And um, yes, if we're, if we're sequestering carbon, that's a good thing. It's, everybody's going to have to play their part. And this is one of the ways that we can. And hopefully, if I'm getting other benefits from it, it doesn't have to necessarily negatively impact what I'm doing in terms of my farming and actual food production, which is the major, major reason I still do what I do.